Say his name, y'all. We are demanding a unredacted version of the video be released to the family and to the community. Second, we're asking that the three officers involved in the shooting be fired because they've clearly violated the Pasquotank County Sheriff's Office policy on the use of deadly force. We're asking for the resignation of the sheriff since he has failed to enforce his own policies. Andrew Brown Jr. was shot and killed in April in Elizabeth City as deputies served warrant. Pasquotank NAACP President Keith Rivers says their chapter is calling for full transparency in Brown's death. We're also asking for the special prosecutor that the DA appoint a special prosecutor. Throughout the rally, Rivers said that Pasquotank County Sheriff violated its own policy by killing Brown. The Pasquotank County Sheriff's Office use of force policy so he said a deputy should only discharge a firearm at a moving vehicle when the deputy believes there are no other reasonable means available to avert the imminent threat of the vehicle or if deadly force other than the vehicle is directed at a deputy. It clearly says in the policy that it's been alleged that the vehicle was being used as a weapon against the officers. Well, in, in his policy, in Pasquotank County Sheriff's policy, it clearly states that the officer is supposed to try to move out the way. Protesters I spoke to at the rally say they agree with the NAACP's demands. That video needs to be released so somebody with some sense can see it and hold them accountable because they're not going to hold themselves accountable. River says he, along with the NAACP, will continue to call for justice and transparency for Andrew Brown and his family. The world is watching Pasquotank County. The world is watching Elizabeth City. Justice applies to each and every one of us. So what is done in Pasquotank County will set the pace for what is yet to come.